My name is Chandler Gould. I work for the National Farmers Union. I, I would hope I'd be able to give a definition of a family farmer because we represent 200,000 family farmers and ranchers across the country. Um, we also don't limit the size of a farm uh, in our definition of a family farm. It, it, it's the entity and who owns it. Is it a husband and a wife? Is it a husband and, uh, or a dad and a son? Uh, is it an extended family? I've got a, a member in Providence, Rhode Island. She farms on about a half an acre of a vacant lot that she dug out herself and is selling high-end organic uh, fr fr vegetables and herbs into the restaurants there in Providence, Rhode Island. I've got members that have 5,000 acres of canola in North Dakota. I've got members that have got 30 dairy cows in Vermont and members that have 10,000 dairy cows uh, in California, but yet they're all owned by a family entity. And, and one of the things I think needs to be changed in this dialogue, and uh, going back to our, our former uh, speaker, uh, when we say corporate, uh, farming is a very dangerous, it, it is it's the third most dangerous um, uh, occupation that you can have in the United States. So a lot of these farms are having to become LLCs just to protect themselves. So we really at the Farmers Union have moved away from saying we don't like corporate farming. What we don't like is industrialized farming because many of our farmers have to be incorporated, but it is not related to their size.